Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us to celebrate Philippine Heritage Month and to raise the flag of the Philippines at Alberta's government centers. Before I begin, I would like to acknowledge that Alberta is on Treaty 6, 7, and 8 territory. And this land also holds a very, very deep importance for the Métis people of Alberta. We have so many wonderful guests and speakers and performers from the Filipino community joining us today. We're so, so grateful. I'd also like to thank my colleagues who are joining us today, Minister McIver, Minister Madu, and Emily's Jones, Reed, Yao, and Yassin. And a special thanks to my dear, dear friend, Tani Yao, MLA for Fort McMurray, who's going to be my co mc today and is gonna help keep things running. To start off, I'm so pleased to introduce the wonderful Kitbiel Pasagi to sing O Canada for us. She started singing in choirs when she was just six years old, such a beautiful, beautiful performer, and uh, is used and used to perform with the world renowned Philippine magical singers. Since moving to Canada, she sang with the Oran and Nafsed choirs and worked as an assistant conductor for the Coco Pelli. Go ahead, Kitabel. Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. Thank you so much, Kit Biel. And I would, uh, it's my absolute pleasure now to introduce her honor, the Honorable Salma Lakani, Lieutenant Governor of Alberta, who's also joined by his honor, Dr. Lakani. Thank you so much, your honors, for joining us. And I will turn it over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Minister Ahir, for that warm welcome. Hello everyone. Um, it is truly a pleasure for me and my husband to join all of you and to reconnect with Consul General Zali Patron today for this special celebration of Philippine Heritage Month and Philippine Independence Day. Occasions like these are important, an important way for all Albertans to learn from one another and to honor the spirit of diversity that makes our province and country a wonderful place to call home. Alberta boasts a large, vibrant and hardworking Filipino community. And I know that members are leading the way in a wide range of sectors. I would particularly like to thank those who have been hard at work on the front lines of the pandemic and the many, many Filipino Albertans who have stepped forward as volunteers throughout this very challenging time. Please accept my heartfelt gratitude on behalf of your fellow Albertans for everything that you do to strengthen and serve our communities. I would also like to recognize everyone who works to share the best of Filipino culture and heritage across Alberta. This includes the team behind new initiatives like the statue of Filipino hero, Jose Rizal, that is in the works for Prairie Winds Park in Northeast Calgary. It is a fitting way 
to celebrate the beauty and vibrancy of Filipino culture, while also honoring the principles of democracy, freedom, and justice that Dr. Rizal fought for and that are so important to us all. I very much look forward to visiting the park once the iconic statue is built. We honor these principles with each step that we take to listen and learn from one another and in everything we do to ensure that Alberta remains a caring, peaceful and welcoming home for every one of us. As Her Majesty the Queen's representative in Alberta, it is my great pleasure to wish you all a very enjoyable Philippine Heritage Month and a very happy Philippine Independence Day. I would also like to thank the very talented performers who are proudly sharing the richness of Filipino culture throughout this program. Finally, Thank you to our wonderful host, Minister Leela Ahir, her team, and all elected officials for your continued dedication to celebrating multiculturalism and to ensuring that every Albertan feels free to proudly share the full measure of their spirit, their identity, and their strengths with us all. Never has that been more important than right now. Thank you all and let us now enjoy the program. Thank you so much, your honors. And I cannot wait to be with you in person at our next events. Uh, for everyone who's watching today, uh, their honors attend every one of these virtual events and have been such a gift to us. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to all of us for it to have your presence here and just elevates our ability to do this for the people in our province. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. So grateful to you both. Thank you. And our next speaker is the Premier of Alberta, Premier Jason Kenney. Mabuhay and happy Philippines Independence Day to all members of Alberta's dynamic Filipino community. Malagayang araw ng kalayaan. This is a great opportunity for you to get together uh, and celebrate your Filipino heritage and customs. Unfortunately, because we still have some public health measures in place, we won't be able to gather together in the usual numbers for Pinoy fiestas and, and lechons, but that's coming. Uh, we're getting close to full reopening uh, for a great Alberta summer and a key part of that will be um, Pinoy gatherings across the province. I can't wait to join you to celebrate uh, your heritage as we do in Filipino Heritage Month here in June. This year though is a special opportunity to say thank you to uh, Albertans of Filipino origin. So many of whom have been on the front lines of the COVID crisis as healthcare workers, as healthcare aides in nursing homes, taking care of seniors, vulnerable people. And that is really so typical of the Filipino ethic of care, of compassion, a community filled with a joy for life, with an amazing work ethic, with a devotion to family and to faith. And it's those values which uh, are really I think about in the way that, that your community has contributed so hugely to Alberta's dynamism. Thank you for all that you do and happy Independence Day. Salamat and Mabuhay. Thank you so much, Premier. We are, we're very much looking forward to being able to gather in person. I know I can't wait. And next up, we will enjoy the YYC Filipino Chorale performing Pilipinas Gong Mahal, the classic ode to the Philippines. To my fellow Filipinos in Alberta, in Saskatchewan,
my goodness. Thank you so much for that absolutely beautiful song. The next uh, person I'm going to introduce is a very, very dear friend of mine, and I'm so honored uh, to call him my friend, uh, Consul General of the Philippines, Saldi Patron, to speak. Please go ahead, Consul General. To my fellow Filipinos in Alberta, and Saskatchewan, Canada. I am Consul General Zaldi Patron, joining all of you in our community celebration of the Philippine Heritage Month this June 2021 and the 123rd anniversary of the proclamation of the Philippine Independence on June 12. We are thankful to all Filipinos who came here to Canada and have enriched the cultural diversity of this country and contributed to its economic prosperity and social development. We are grateful to the people and government of Canada for recognizing our community and honoring us with the declaration of the Philippine Heritage Month that we now celebrate every year in June. Our Philippine Independence Day, on the other hand, is an occasion for us to remember and pay homage to all our Filipino heroes who fought their Spanish colonizers in a national revolution that won for us the freedom that we enjoy today. This year, the theme of our Philippine Independence Day is Diwa ng Kalayaan sa Pagkakaisa at Paghilong ng Bayan. It calls for our unity as a nation as we heal as one, knowing very well that the Philippines, just like the rest of the world, is now recovering from our long battle against the COVID-19 pandemic. I would also like to take this opportunity to honor all Filipinos who served as frontliners and essential workers throughout the pandemic for all their sacrifices so that we in turn can live safely and well. I am pleased to inform you that the Philippine Embassy in Ottawa and the Philippine Consulates General in Calgary, Toronto, and Vancouver will highlight this month the success of our fellow Filipinos in Canada through a project called Proudly Philippines, Proudly Filipino that we will share on social media. Lastly, I am honored to share with you that the Philippine Consulate General in Calgary is undertaking its biggest cultural diplomacy project so far as it leads the installation of the Rizal Monument in Nose Creek Regional Park in Airdrie, Alberta in partnership with the Airdrie City Council and the Filipino Airdrie Association. This project is the Philippine Consulate General's humble way to promote our Philippine heritage and honor all the Filipinos in Alberta and the rest of Canada. Mabuhay ang lahing Pilipino. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, Consul General Saldi, and the words that you said, unity as a nation, as we heal together as one. Thank you so much for those beautiful words, and I think it's really something that all of us need to hear today. Our, our next speaker is Ida Beltran Lucila from the Philippine Arts Council. Ida is a driving force behind Filipino arts and culture in Edmonton. She was a principal dancer with the Ballet Philippines and is the founder and executive director of the Philippine Arts Council. We have her to thank for the Philippine Arts Festival, Edmonton Filipino Fiesta, Kalinangan, and so much more. Thank you, Ida. Honorable Premier Jason Kenney, Minister Lila Ahir, members of the Legislative Assembly, and distinguished guests. As a Filipino, celebrations are intrinsic to our culture. You'll often hear the expression mabuhay, which translates to long live. When said, it is an expression of pride, nationalism, and the deep love and connection that we have to our homeland. It is the battle cry of our Filipino ancestors as they proclaimed Philippine independence on June 12, 123 years ago today. This month on Philippine Heritage Month, we celebrate our country, our culture, and ourselves. 
It is a great honor for the Filipino community to be seen and recognized in the province and country we now call home. As we share our heritage and history with fellow Albertans, it is an opportunity to affirm to ourselves and to the community that we are here and we are proud of our multifaceted identity. We look at the Philippine flag symbolizing freedom, equality, peace, valor, and unity. Traits exemplified by the people during the Philippine Re Revolution. These same traits are embodied by the Filipinos in their stories of migration, from the Filipinos who moved to Canada in the 1930s, the pioneers in Alberta in the 1960s who heeded the call for teachers, nurses, and engineers, for the Filipinos who came as temporary foreign workers to improve the lives of their families both in Canada and the Philippines, and the Filipinos currently working in the front lines in essential services during this pandemic. All 175,000 strong Filipinos in Alberta, contributing to the social, economic, political, and cultural fabric of Canada. And so we enjoin all of you to participate in the many initiatives for the Philippine Heritage Month this year and in the succeeding years. And as we celebrate, we remember, honor, and carry the legacy of those who have come before us and paved the way. We celebrate you and for you. Thank you and mabuhay. Thank you so much, Ida. And I'm very, very happy now to introduce the Bidinhi Nanlahi Philippine Folk Dance Troupe for our very next performance. This energetic dance group showcases so many different dances that explore their Filipino and ancestors' way of life. <laughs>
Oh my goodness, it's such a beautiful performance. And I think you would agree with me that we just can't wait to be able to do this in person. The, the videos just make you wish so much for in-person events. And I just, I can't wait. Um, the next performance is just by such a beautiful, beautiful young performer. Hannah Adamson is gonna be performing for us. And she's achieved an unbelievable and incredible amount in such a short time. Did you know that she performed her first solo at, at and in concert at the age of 10 and has gone on to win awards and hone her skills as a singer and a songwriter and an instrumentalist? Please enjoy Hada Animson. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, okay. I, I'm so blown away right now. That was absolutely beautiful. And what an incredible, incredible voice. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Hannah. Um, this next incredible human that is coming forward, all of you are going to know, Vanji Kawili from Philippine Festival Council of Alberta is our next speaker. She is, of course, our chairperson on Philippine Festival Council of Alberta and the co-chair for the Philippine Chamber of Commerce in Alberta. So Vanji is an empowerer of women, especially young Filipino Albertans through the Filipino Youth Empowerment Program. And she's been providing incredible initiatives and provides workshops and programs to help young Filipinos to understand and celebrate their heritage. Vanjie, thank you so much for all the beautiful things that you do. Over to you. Maligayang araw ng kalayahan sa inyong lahat. Happy Philippine Independence Day. 123 years ago, we gained our freedom and democracy from our oppressors. Today, we pay tribute to the hundreds and thousands of our Kababayans across Canada for their resiliency, continued sacrifices, and courage. We also recognize the significant contributions of the Filipino-Canadian community in building a Canada that fully embraces multiculturalism and diversity. Mabuhay po tayong lahat at maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Thank you so much, Vanji. And I'm so pleased to introduce our next guest, Janae Alicia Ventura. Janae is an award-winning singer and a dedicated humanitarian. She's raised funds for organizations such as Kids and uh, Cancer Care Foundation and the Alberta Children's Hospital. She was also a junior Miss Calgary in 2019, 2020. She is gonna perform the song, Flight of Dream. Mabuhay! It's Alicia. I'm super excited to greet you all a happy Filipino Heritage Month. Together in this month of June, let us celebrate our beautiful culture and heritage with pride and remember all of the traditions that have been passed down from generation to generation. So I dedicate this song to all of my Kababayans all over the world. I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
Wow, Janae, thank you so much for that. That was absolutely beautiful. And thank you all so much for being here and having me. I'm Tanny Yao, the MLA for Fort McMurray Wood Buffalo, and Minister here, uh, Consul General Patron, Lieutenant Governor Lacani, and Premier Kenny, as well as to the rest of our honored guests and friends. Thank you so much. It is an honor as we celebrate the Philippines. Uh, when I think of the Philippines, I certainly think of my father, the lessons that he taught me. And it was to be humble and work hard and that life isn't easy. So appreciate everything that you have. And uh, I'm definitely proud of being of Filipino descent because of the values, beliefs, and heart that Filipinos have demonstrated that have come here to Canada, to Alberta. Um, everyone has become so integral. Uh, you volunteer in so many charities with homelessness, whether it's LGBTQ community, food banks, church functions, or even as demonstrated with COVID here, uh, caregiving roles. And Filipinos are always represented and work so hard and with a great attitude. So I just want to thank you all for showing Albertans and Canadians what it means to be a Filipino and what Filipinos are made of. And thank you all so much for that. Um, next up, I am honored to introduce Neil Toazon from the Filipino Association of Grand Prairie and Area as our next speaker. Thank you so much. June 12, 1898. When a fine young man, General Emilio Aguinaldo, declares our Philippine independence in Kawit Cavite, also known as the land of the free. We Filipinos fought a lot. We still fighting as of today. Fighting for our future and fighting for our rights. But right now that we are here in this country, which I should say our new home. We will still continue our culture. We will still continue to help people. We will still continue the love that we give to each other. And now that love needs to be shared from one another. Like here, the Filipino Association of Grand Prairie and Area in Grand Prairie, Alberta, we are still helping our fellow Filipinos here. And not only the Filipinos, but the whole city of Grand Prairie. As a president of a nonprofit organization, we call ourselves as FAGPA, or the Filipino Association of Grand Prairie and Area. We are always here to serve our community, to continue the culture, to continue the love, and to continue our independence. Again, I would like to say thank you very much for this opportunity, I'm Neil Tuazan, 
your friend, your community leader, and one that declares and with you for our Philippine independence. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you so much for that, Neil. We greatly appreciate that. Next up, we have Sharissa Salis from the Calgary Catholic Immigration Society. She's an active board member of the Philippine Festival Council of Alberta and the Babe Council of Philippine and Canadian Women. We are lucky to hear her speak today. Mabuhay! Happy third Philippine Heritage Month. Let us be proud of our roots and heritage. Together, we acknowledge and celebrate the significant contributions of all Filipinos in Alberta. Globally, Filipinos are sought for in the various industries, whether it be hospitality, education, agriculture, maritime, more so in the health and wellness industry. We are known to be very hard working. During the pandemic, many of our kababayan rose to the occasion and did an excellent job as frontline workers. Thank you to all our Filipino doctors, nurses, LPNs, healthcare aides, butchers, grocery clerks, cleaners, custodians, and food attendants. You are our modern heroes. Today also marks our 123rd year of being free from our colonizers of over 300 years, our Philippine Independence Day. As we say in Filipino, Maligayang araw ng kasarinlan. Or we can also say, Maligayang araw ng kalayaan. Normally, we celebrate this historic event with music and elaborate food together with our family and friends. Because we are in an unprecedented time, we are celebrating this event virtually. But no matter where we are in this world, no matter how we celebrate our Philippine Heritage Month and the Philippine Independence Day, let us continue to be proud as Filipinos. Sa isip, sa wika at sa gawa, magtulungan po tayo at magkaisa. And let us always be grateful to our newfound home here in Alberta, Canada. Salamat Alberta at mabuhay ang mga Pilipino. Thank you so much, Charissa. Um, our next performance, I'm very, very proud of this one, is from Daisy Mella. Daisy is an 18-year-old uh, from my community and is using her incredible voice to do good in the world. She is sang in the Fort McMurray Northern Lights Hospital, entertaining patients with song and dance. And she's, she has also hosted virtual music performances to fundraise for families impacted by the flooding that affected us here in Fort McMurray uh, last spring. And now today she is performing for us. And um, we also have to mention that Daisy just uh, celebrated her 18th birthday. So thank you so much, Daisy, please. There's anywhere I could go, I'd still pick my tongue. There's nowhere I'd rather be but in this place called home. The northern lights Oscillating the night in city Bustling with the warmest miles I never felt so welcomed Colors beaming in my eyes I know There's no place I'd rather go Yeah, in this city you find Hearts united Yeah. 
that would not do just for you Reaching out my hand Cause that's what brothers do One hope A community One family Walk around with me Strolling around the city Thank you so much for that, Daisy. That was an amazing video. Um, next, I'm happy to introduce Sanag Kutura, the youth dancers from the Philippine Cultural Center Foundation. This foundation offers programs that celebrate the rich culture and heritage of the Filipino people. <laughs>
thank you so much to the Sanag Kultura dancers uh, demonstrating some traditional dance for us today. Next, we have Virginia Sumalinong from the Filipino Canadian National, Con National Congress to share a few words. Virginia is a founding director and secretary of the Filipino Canadian National Congress, and this organization advocates on behalf of nearly 1 million Filipinos who live in Canada. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. I'm Virginia Sumalinong. I'm a retired school teacher of Edmonton Catholic School Board. I'm the vice president of the Philippine Business Society of Alberta. I'm the secretary of the Filipino Canadian National Congress. I would like to thank Premier Jason Kenney, Minister Lila Sharon Ahir, and the government of Alberta and Canada in general for having this program to honor the 123rd anniversary of the proclamation of the Philippine independence. Thank you, Canada, for recognizing the many meaningful contributions that Filipinos have made to Canadian society. The Filipino Canadians have culturally enriched Canada's diversity which has become an important and admired characteristic of Canada worldwide. The Filipino community has become one of the fastest growing communities in Canada, reaching nearly 1 million people as Canada remains the destination of choice for many Filipinos who come here as permanent residents, OFWs, international students, and as visitors. The historic day forms the foundation of the liberties we enjoy today as we also celebrate the Filipino Heritage Month in June. To this day, we continue to walk the path of our heroes. Freedom in our minds, freedom in our words, pride in our souls, and salute to our nation. We have come together with a strong sense of duty Amidst all difficulties, like fighting against COVID-19 and the racism against Asians. Mabuhay! Maligayang araw ng kasarinlan. Salamat po. Thank you so much, Virginia. I am just absolutely thrilled by all of the wonderful performances and speeches today. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. And it's just clear about how much pride our Filipino Canadian community has in its heritage. And to see this heritage being carried on into the next generation through Hannah and Janae and Daisy, I'm sure it just warms your hearts. Thank you so much to all of you for sharing your talents with us and I, I'm, I feel so privileged every day to be your Minister of Culture, Multiculturalism, the status of women, and to especially to be able to bring these kinds of celebrations, especially given the times right now. And the events give us such an opportunity to thank Alberta, Albertans right across the province from all of the different cultural groups for everything that you do to give back to this beautiful province and helping your neighbors as being part of the Filipino culture. The word bayanihan, is a core ex essence of the Filipino culture. And what I've learned about the cooperation and helping one's neighbor as a community. And thank you so much for inviting all of us in to that beautiful community. Over the past 16 months, seeing the incredible dedication and community service has been just so evident. And you know, we've received countless nominations for volunteer awards from the Filipino communities across Alberta. And these nominations have actually honored people such as Daisy who received the Northern Lights Out Award earlier this month for her work in, in Fort McMurray. So congratulations, Daisy. And I'm so proud to be able to recognize your efforts to build a better Alberta. I'm also really honored to work alongside Alberta's diversity and in their communities and creating a more inclusive community. So thank you. The flag of Philippines was raised today earlier in the Violet King Henry Plaza in Edmonton and at McDougal Center in Calgary. Please join me in watching the videos of the flags being raised while YYC Filipino Chorale performs the Philippine National Anthem. Bye. 
Thank you to everyone who tuned in today and, and for showing your support. A tremendous thank you to all of our guests and speakers and performers. Thank you again to their honors and her honor, uh, Honorable Selma Lakani, uh, the Premier Jason Kenney, MLA Taniao. Thank you so much for co chairing with me today. I'm so grateful to you and Consul General Zaldi Patron. Uh, I, and also, I want to give a huge shout out to the team that puts all of this together and the tech support and all of the people who do this. You are so incredible and you keep doing such beautiful events and feel very grateful to be able to participate. Um, I don't hope, I know next year we're going to be getting together for this in person uh, at the legislature grounds and uh, I'm sending all of my love to all of you. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you soon. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Thank you so much. Happy Independence Day.